so you come back after a holiday weekend you get all excited you get all these packages right we got like 50 packages going out busy busy morning me and adrian been packing for a couple hours and we you get to the last item last item which is this here's the killer i will explain it in a second there is a killer right there so we get to the last item which is this bag that me and vicky spent 20 minutes looking for it stuff like this we like to put in a spot that it's not gonna get smooshed in a bin or anything so we have a designated shelf there on top which we call a row d stuff just sits loose so i look through it and then i can't find i call vicky vicky you know where you put it you look through it and as she's looking halfway through see that bin right there the gray bin right on top of it she put this thing on when she listed just a couple days ago this was in the last video well, look, it's a victim now the top broke it fell off crime scene. it's a crime scene should have yellow tape and outline the body this broke off the side broke off the top completely cracked and the speaker on the side cracked so uh so i'm going to jail I great way to start uh, our week vicky <laughs> thank know. you very much you're welcome and thank i'm sorry you. lock me up uh we will lock lock me up <laughs> so anyway this was already in a garbage i threw it in the garbage and i decided to take it out and make this little clip because on a previous video i know you guys a lot of you mentioned that you had this as a child played with it um so i decided i'm gonna take it out of garbage and listen, I know it's not in sellable condition now, but if any of you still want this helmet, the way it sits and brings you memories and you as a child play with this, let me know. I'll ship it to you. Just pay for shipping charges. So Vicky, Vicky is complaining that people next door that haven't opened yet, I don't know why, we don't know why they haven't opened yet. They were supposed to be open for this holiday weekend and they didn't. They're... Uh, they're putting some good uh, shipping material right there in that dumpster, right there. So I'm Bubble like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get it now. So let's let's record this. <laughs> you can do it now. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I can't set this up here. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna set it up. Hold on. Oh, Wait, I'm in jail. I can't hold it again. Yeah, you can't do anything. You're in jail. No. Yeah, that's good. All right. Careful. <laughs> oh boy. Oh God. No. Okay. I saw her put it in there. False alarm. No boxes or bubble wrap for you, Vicky. Okay. It's like a soup in there. They uh, they left the dumpster over open last few days, mm -hmm. and there's a foot of water in there. Oh so. Oh. Garbage. What a waste. What's up, Mister? Mm. Hmm. How you doing? Pretty good. How was your weekend? Busy. Busy? Where'd Where? you go? <laughs> Where did I go? Here. I was here and then I was working on my boat. Nice. I actually want to show this unit really quick on a video. Because you don't see very often for these to come up on a market. You gotta push the button. Mm -hmm. It's a very cool story actually. I just picked this up from another picker. His name is Eric. Thanks Eric. I appreciate it. I bought a few things from him but this is very unique. I want to talk about it. This is one of those super VHS's. They were um, not massively produced because they were super high end uh, at that time, especially for this model. Well, maybe they were massively produced, but like they didn't sell like a Panasonic that would make, you know, 
two million of these units. They may be made in a few thousand. Believe it or not, this model, it's a Super VHS four head unit. It's a JVC HRS8000U. If you guys ever find this out in the wild, this can bring a few hundred bucks. This one unfortunately is for parts. The audio comes in on it. Uh, the video is in and out, glitchy. Uh, the main display motherboard is glitchy, comes in and out. But if you ever find this in a box, sealed, it's two grand. So that's why I want to talk about it. It's one of those units that can bring some crazy money. So here's another cool piece that Eric brought me in. This is a Lineard Technex turntable. This is model SLL3. Same thing with these. These don't come up on the market very often. There was a very limited amount of these made. But this one runs perfectly. It's got few scuffs on a cover. Usually they're pretty beat up. I always wonder, it has automatic programming that you can play tracks on your LPs. And I always wonder what happens if you got more tracks than eight. What are you gonna do then? But hardly ever on the LP you would have more than you know five or six on each side. But it, it's it's pretty cool, fully functional. So this one I priced at $150. I think that's um, that's the going rate for these. So yeah, very cool piece.